12 squared. Let's see, uh, what is your opinion that we are going into a mini ice age? And is 2040 the 40 year reset time frame you're talking about? I do not believe at all we're going into a mini ice age. As a matter of fact, I have released a video and I, and I give you the reasons why that I believe many of the prophetic texts are perfectly describing the return of the vapor canopy. The vapor canopy will not allow in a mini ice age. It, uh, it's just the opposite and what the vapor canopy world is going to do to your latent genes and the activation of genes you don't even know you have is it's pretty astonishing too so if you haven't watched the vapor canopy video in the anuna file i have 26 anuna files one of them is about the vapor canopy apocalypse and it says that in the title so it should be pretty easy to find uh that was addressed to rama rama g hi rama i think you bought some charts for me you and shanta Let's see steve miller Okay, and is 2040 the 400 year reset time frame? Let's talk about it. Yes, 2040 is the first of four resets, but they're coming back to back. Now, resets have always been spread out. They have always been spread out over centuries. They were never needed until recently. With the, with the, with the convergence of so many different isolated paradigms, all these, all these simulations converging in our time right now, which is creating all these wild news, all this, all this chaos is being created because our, not only are they converging, but these systems are in a state of entropy, and when they converge, they borrow from one another, and this borrowing creates coding errors, and we see these as anomalies that we can't, they're inexplicable, we can't, we can't explain them. Uh, but uh, yes, there are four resets coming back to back. Uh, we're not going to be alive for, for I mean, we are, but not in our present avatars. And again, that's another good. That's another good topic. I do not believe at all that this is the only life you and I have ever led. Led. It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't even. There's no equity in that. If I have not been an Asian, I would never be able to fully appreciate spiritually, intellectually, mentally the the conundrums, the the hassles, the the perils. Uh, the brilliance of that culture. I wouldn't. If I had never, if I had never been a Cro-Magnon, I would not be, able to be qualified to say that I have experienced the full, the full gamut of, of basically the human experience. It says, I believe that I have been every race. Yes, inclu including Asian, Cro-Magnon, Neanderthal. I, I have been dark Caucasoid. I have been black. I have probably been several types of blacks. It's uh, this is what I don't get. I, I, I get, I get some black people in my comment sections that go off on me about my about, about my videos and uh, despite the fact they've only watched one or two or three of them they haven't gone all the way through the Anuna files to see that we have been genetically attacked as a race I agree that we have all been many things because when it finally comes to judgment day <clears throat> remember remember we're not we're not the we're not the ones who caused all this we're the victims but when we go through Judgment Day, this whole entire simulacrum experience is about, has been about the growth and maturity of the human immortal soul. And the only way to do that is to see life in the physical from multiple dimensions and perspectives. You can't do that as a Caucasian all the time. You can't do that as an American Indian. You can't do that as a Micronesian with a small environment of only a hundred, a hundred islands that you can travel to. You cannot do that as an American Indian, the Quisha or the Inca. You couldn't have done it from Easter Island. If you can't do it from one small segment of the human experience, then you're going to have to do it from all. You follow me? So I believe the simulacrum, I believe in reincarnation. But not because the human soul goes into the next body and all stuff. It's because in this programming, when I die, when Jason Brashears exits his avatar in this programming, some of y'all will be sad. I know others will probably clap. But... I'm not, I'm not going anywhere I don't want to go. I might wake up in a chair <coughs> and my handler or my spiritual teacher will say, hey, oh, so uh, let me take you over here and take me into another chamber. And my entire life today as a 47 years old, if I get on my motorcycle and die tomorrow, I might, I might wake up in a chair in some type of environment and instantly remember who I am and like, wow, that whole thing. I remember my life everything like like you said the akashic records however it was a simulation it's all been recorded technologically by a civilization that that is trying to figure something out and i'm bringing information back to them now not even not only in, in the records that i've brought but also <coughs> what i learned what i experienced the things they cannot record 